Hey everybody, Glenn here with another uh, grade reveal video, one we haven't had in a while. Uh, I've got an HGA grade reveal video. Uh, this is the only order I still had out with HGA. Uh, primarily just because they got really far behind and I wasn't going to pay, you know, for a 30-day service to get a 60-day service. So... I've done a lot of business with HGA. I probably will still do business with them in the future, but I'm not intending to send anything into them until they uh, get caught up, which it seems like they're on their way to doing. So uh, we'll play it by ear, but uh, this particular order, <laughs> we'll just quick, take a quick look at the turnaround time, which kind of demonstrates what I was talking about. So you can see that uh, you know, right up here, we got, you know, this was a 30-day order I paid for back in November uh, 5th of 2022. This was right around the time they started getting really behind. Uh, you can see that I did not, that was not shipped back to me until 2 of 2022. Actually, that should say 11-5-2021. That's my mistake. Uh, so that ended up being uh, 74 days, business days. Uh, from the time that I shipped them in to the time that they shipped back to me. I shouldn't say from the time I shipped them in. From the time they received the cards to the time they shipped them back to me. Uh, so over double. That's about two and a half times what I paid for. Um, so I think at the time, you know, on their Facebook page, they were saying that they were roughly... Oh, I don't want to say... At some point, they said 47 to 55 days behind. Uh, you know, this was 44 days late as they've been catching up. Uh, so yeah, so I mean, overall, like I said, I still like HGA. Uh, I think the thing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way is they were really kind of uh, transparent, you know, at first. And then as they started getting behind, you know, everything kind of went silent. Uh, they were like, oh yeah, you know, we're, we're 10, 15 days behind. And then, oh yeah, we're 20 days behind. But in reality, they were way further behind than that. Uh, and it wasn't until kind of like late in the game that they're like, yeah, okay, we're way the hell behind. Uh, so luckily I didn't submit any more cards during that time frame. Um, so like I said, I think this past Monday, just a couple days ago, they actually reduced the amount of submissions they're going to accept to 3500 a week. I think they said they still have like a roughly a 60,000 card backlog. Uh, so hopefully they'll be able to start working through that backlog a little bit faster now that they're only going to be taking in 3500 a week. Uh, and they got some new system there and had some efficiency experts come in and, and you know, yada yada. So hopefully, hopefully they'll get back on track. I mean, I like their product. Uh, I'm happy with the cards I got back today. Uh, you know, I'm not seeing the mistakes and stuff that I was seeing earlier on. So I think maybe they're taking a little bit extra time to train, maybe... You know, getting a little bit of higher quality individual in there, you know. So, anyways, without further ado, uh, we'll get right into it. This is only a four-card uh, reveal. So, the very first one, you know, these are all PC cards. These are all brown stuff. So, my first one here uh, is this Nick Chubb uh, Illumination uh, Case Hit. So, this is actually from 2019 uh, Panini Prism. Uh, this along with the Color Blasts and I think Aurora was the name of the other one uh, were the case hits that were available in this particular product. You can see this one here ended up getting a 9 on corners, a 9.5 on edges, 9.5 on surface, and a 9.5 on centering. So almost a true gem 9.5, just missed it by a half grade on the corners. Uh, so overall I was happy with that grade. Uh, I was expecting that when I sent it in. I've gotten pretty decent at figuring out how to gem with HGA. Uh, so, pretty happy with that card. Uh, second card up is a short print Baker Mayfield. Uh, you can see this one's from 2019 Panini Obsidian Electric Etch Red. So this is a year two Baker. Uh, again, you can see it got nine on corners, nine five on surface, nine five on edges, and nine five on centering. So, exactly what I got in the last one. Uh, with corners being the one thing that got me. Uh, now this is a super short print, so you can see here on the back, that's uh, number three out of five. So that was the reason I sent this particular card in. Uh, year two card, number to five. And I like the obsidian design. Uh, so I think this looks really good. I uh, just got the neutral team match, uh, which I think looks good with a card. Uh, next one up 
is another uh, Mayfield, but this one here is actually from 2020 Illusions. So this is the trophy collection is what they call these things. Uh, you can see in the background there, it's kind of hard to see, there you go. Uh, you can see Bernie Kosar is there in the background. I uh, used to be on, I believe it was 2018 and 2019, Illusions always had like a, a veteran in the background and then the rookie in the front or the, you know, the current player in the front. Uh, and then in 2020, they stopped doing that and only did it for certain cards. And they called them these trophy collections. So this one here you can see is uh, numbered, let's see if I can get that to focus in, one out of seven. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, you know, Baker, you know, some people lost a little bit of, we'll call it faith in Baker this past year. You know, personally, you know, the guy played injured all year, so I'm willing to give him a pass and see how he does next year. But you can see up here on the grades, this thing got uh, nine fives across the board. Uh, so this is a true uh, gem mint nine five, one out of seven short print. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I, really like that card and then ended off this was the fourth card uh, again I like not only the Browns but also Ohio State so that's got a little bit of scratching on the case going on there I don't know if you can see that there but nothing major um, so this is a from 2021 Panini uh, Luminance this is a rookie Luminance Gold Auto you can see it got a 9.5 on everything except edges which got a 9 uh, so almost a true gem on this one as well, uh, but overall, this one was numbered 19 out of 75. Got Justin Fields in his Ohio State Uni, which I know a lot of people don't like the college uniforms. Uh, personally, that's all I collect. I collect Browns, and then I collect Ohio State players in their Ohio State uniforms, so... That's the last one. So overall, uh, pretty happy with that. Uh, four cards, four gems. Uh, you know, not all of them were true gems, I guess, but that's okay. I'm not overly concerned about that. These are all from my PC. I don't plan on selling any of these anytime soon. Uh, so like I said, HGA, um, I still like them. You know, I think the cases, you know, good quality. I can say, you know, label-wise, everything looks pretty good. I uh, don't have any um warping of the videos like i've seen in the past don't have any um like chipping or glue anything like that on the sides i uh, don't have you know any labels being misaligned uh you know they still got these really tight bands going around here so the card doesn't really move around in there you know, no cards damaged or out of place. You know, I didn't, you know, get any crazy grades and then find out they damaged my card. So overall, you know, I'm, I'm satisfied with the service uh, with the exception of the fact that it just took two and a half times longer than the service that I paid for, which is hard to complain about. I mean, I see online everybody complaining about, you know, oh, you know, HJ is supposed to be different and... You know, now they're just like PSA and BGS, and it's a big money grab, and blah, blah, blah. And I don't really buy into all of that. You know, they're a new company. They made some mistakes on startup. Um, as a result of those mistakes, you know, they're paying for it. I mean, I don't think they're probably seeing nearly as many submissions. They're getting, you know, obviously, quite a bit of flack online, you know, on Facebook groups and YouTube videos and stuff like that, where, you know, everybody... You got your normal people, they're just saying, oh, you know, it's just, you know, colorful, colorful labels for, you know, all the new, you know, tweaker, you know, <laughs> collectors out there, uh, which I don't necessarily agree with that. I still, I think their grading is just as good and I would say accurate and or consistent as any other grading company out there. Uh, obviously, I don't think, I think they're strict. But I still don't think they're the most strict. I actually think uh, on modern cars that CSG is probably the most strict. And then on vintage cars, I would say that you know, SGC is probably the most strict with CSG being a close second. Uh, now, HGA, I really don't know uh, what their vintage stuff would be like because I really haven't 
submitted a lot of vintage stuff to HGA. But overall, I'd say I'm getting down pretty much the formula to get a 9.5 from these guys uh, on ultra modern cards as shown here. Uh, so, like I said, uh, probably won't be submitting anything with them anytime here in the near future just because they are still behind. Uh, and I don't really feel like dealing with all of that. So I'm going to give them time. Like I said, it'll probably take them a couple months once they cut their submission level down, get everything caught up, and then, you know, I'll look at submitting with them again. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel, set up for notifications. Uh, go check us out on Facebook. Uh, you know, all that crap. I, I'm really getting bad at, you know, the self-promotion stuff. But anyways... There you have it, guys. Another reveal video. I should be back in a few days. I've got like three CSG orders coming back real soon. Uh, one, well, two of them actually. One was a PSA crack and resub, and one was a SGC crack and resub. I already have gotten those grades back. I know what they are, and I think the results are going to be pretty interesting, uh, I think. People that are hardcore uh, PSA fans are probably not going to like the results. And then people that are SGC fans that, you know, have been claiming that CSG is like a BG, BVG are probably going to be surprised as well. So I think it's going to have some pretty uh, interesting results to share with everybody. So those should be coming up here in the next week or two as well. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you next time.